Hi, I'm Federico Pecora, and I teach in the Computer Engineering program at Aruburu University. This is a five-year program, and I'm going to give you an idea of why you should take this program if you want to become a creator of tomorrow's technology. Let's start with her, Ada Lovelace. She was, in the beginning of the 1800s, the first programmer, long before computers were even invented. Her pioneering discoveries have led to today's world of algorithms. You've heard this word, and you probably know that algorithms are everywhere. They run your smartphone. We use them at Oruburu University to make intelligent robots. Algorithms suggest videos to watch on YouTube or new friends on Facebook. They give life to your enemies in computer games. They drive autonomous cars. Algorithms and their applications are designed by computer engineers. I'll give you a simple example of how cool algorithms can be. Suppose you work in a post office and you need to deliver mail to 25 addresses and want to do this as quickly as possible. It's easy to see that some tours of these addresses are better than others. What is less evident is how to find the shortest tour. Here's a simple algorithm to do this. You write down each possible tour and measure its length, and then you pick the shortest. Now, with 25 addresses to visit, there will be more than 100 sextillion possible tours. Even if you can measure each tour extremely quickly, say in one millisecond, it will take you a thousand trillion years to find the best one. But don't worry, if you're a student in your first year of studies, you already know that there is an algorithm that can solve the problem in just milliseconds. So there's more to algorithms than meets the eye. There are many mysteries waiting to be solved. This is Alan Turing, another pioneer of computer science. He broke the code used by the Nazis in World War II to communicate encrypted messages. In fact, it turns out that algorithms are very important, both for code breaking and for encryption. Encryption is what allows you to have a secure online banking system or to protect your data with passwords. Code breaking is what allows a hacker to break into your encrypted data, just like Alan Turing did with the Nazis' encrypted data in World War II. Modern encryption methods are safe because breaking uh, algorithms, break code breaking algorithms, are slow. So the reason why a hacker cannot break into your encrypted data is that it would require a gazillion years for the code breaking algorithm to compute. But if, if someday someone finds an efficient algorithm for solving such problems, then all our encryption technology will fail and hackers will be able to crack all secure sites and all our passwords in time for supper. So the mystery here is, do such efficient algorithms exist at all? Or will our encryption methods be safe forever? You are more than welcome to join us in this fascinating world of solved and unsolved mysteries. The entrance door is the five-year program in computer engineering at Ottawa University. I sometimes get asked, why should I study five years when it takes three years to become an able programmer? Well, to become a good algorithm designer, you need many disciplines. You need a solid background in mathematics, programming, in software engineering, but also in physics, electronics, computer architectures. All these disciplines are important for designing and applying in novel ways algorithms. And that's why it takes five years. The difference is, programmers implement algorithms, so they run on computers. Computer engineers invent these algorithms and find novel applications for them. I'm one of the teachers, and I have the privilege of introducing students in this program to the world of algorithms. Studying algorithms is not just about solving big mysteries. It is very much about how to develop artificial intelligence, robots, software for consumer products and for the industry, and much more. I'm originally from Italy, and I chose to move to Aruburu because it is a well-known research center for artificial intelligence and robotics. You will meet me and my fellow teachers in the computer engineering program here. And I really hope you're intrigued and hope to see you this autumn at Otto University.